You know, too often we lose officers in the line of duty, but first responders are making sure they're never forgotten. Today, five officers were inducted at the Regional Peace Officers and First Responder Memorial. KMAX Story Larn had attended the ceremony and joins us with a look at those remembered. Trooper William Carl Kesey, Yoakum County Deputy Sheriff Jason Fan, Crosby County Sheriff Jewel J.J. Pierce, Lubbock Fire Department's Jay Watson, and Floyd East Jr. with Texas Tech. The five first responders joining a list of heroes who lost their lives too soon. We spoke to family out at the memorial today about how their legacy will live on. Lubbock County Sheriff's Department, Deputy D. Robert Martin Harvey. Name after name. Also Floyd East Jr of the first responders who lost their lives in the line of duty on the South Plains. Every single day is, is fresh. Every single day seems like it just happened. Carmen East is a newer face in a community no family wishes to join. Time may heal all wounds, but you never forget. Her husband, Texas Tech officer Floyd East Jr. was shot and killed in 2017. And now his name, along with the names of four other first responders, lie on the Regional Peace Officer and First Responder Memorial. It's a sad occasion, but it's also a necessary part to thank our fellow officers. While Carmen looks at her husband's name on the plaque, Stacy Harvey, the wife of fallen Lubbock County Sheriff's Deputy Robert Harvey, holds another family of the fallen in her arms. You kind of just have to move forward, but this right here just shows that there's still community support and people still have our backs. 47 other names called out, all who died in the line of duty. All who will be remembered as long as the community keeps saying their names. It makes you prideful. It, it, know, it just lets you know that they did not die in vain. They died for a cause, for a purpose, and they were doing what they love doing. You can come see their plaques anytime you want at the Lubbock Regional Public Safety Memorial on Quaker Avenue.